welcome back to my channel it's your girl emeline iron and if it is your first time coming to my channel you are welcome my name is shina azomi Simba. i am currently in china doing my masters but i'm from nigeria yeah nigeria thank you so much for clicking this video my youtube channel is all about living in china doing business you know buying stuff for people i do vlog on that so if this is something you're interested in watching, please do well to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. So for my old subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video. So I will be giving you guys updates. But before that, I need to drink water because I'm lost in the bread. Thank you. So many things has happened in my life recently. I recently broke up with my boyfriend. <laughs> Seriously. This period I was like, I think it's time for me to stop and work on myself. Like being single, staying alone is a very wonderful moment for you to realize who you really are. For real. And I also believe that life is all about changes and improvement. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now. For real, guys, don't ever try to, you know, dump yourself in a particular dungeon thinking that somebody needs to take you out from there. Believe me, you are the one to do that. Nobody will do that for you. No matter the amount of conviction, encouragement, advice people do give you, it will never change anything unless you make the move. But that is a Today's video for is thing. all about... The second lockdown in China. Can you believe that? I will tell you the story because this video is also all about G. So guys, China is now in their second lockdown. You know, when I heard about the first lockdown, I was like, don't mind them, they are joking. Especially for my school. I don't know if you, you guys do experience this, especially people here in China. If your city is like that, just let me know in the comment section. Or oh, is my school just being so provoking or what? I don't just understand it. Just let me know in the comment section. Because during the first lockdown, I was thinking, okay, maybe they are doing it to, you know, just to make us, you know, don't go far, stuff like that. But finally, after the, that semester exam, they just locked the whole place. Like, locked everything. We don't go out. If you want to buy anything, what is that? Just name it. I remember my, my brother doing his birthday and I was like, I needed to get something for him. I wanted to purchase, you know, cake and I need to be there to see how the, you know, I need to get to the shop to know how things are there. Before I can order the one I want. And when I get to that gate, they said, no, you're not going anywhere. What is that? I had to go back and order the cake online. Here is the second lockdown. Because of this whole thing, we stay in our hostels and attend classes online. Like since this semester started, we are attending classes online. So the first one is that after the first COVID, everything was over. I can't say we started living a normal life, but we still have to, you know, respond to the procedure. Like you don't go out anyhow. There's always so many policemen at the gate. You have to scan some codes and all that. But recently this month, they came up with this disease again. I think they call it Delta disease or something They're stronger than Corona. I don't know. They find out that some students in other, a very city close to my city, they already contacted the disease. Because of that, they now started, you know, locking down most cities. Like me now being in Jinko, I cannot travel to a place like Beijing or Shanghai. If you want to travel, you must write a little note and sign some document that shows that you're going there. And when you get there, you have to stay for quarantine, like 14 days before you will face your normal life there. And when coming back, you do the same thing. So if you think about all those things, like spending 14 days going there and 14 days coming back is like a month plus. It doesn't make sense. So it must be something very tangible this period. So recently, they locked down the gate. Their reason is because they don't want people to come in with this disease you know what chinese are doing they are trying to protect their school because they want to do everything as fast as possible and lock the gates i don't know if this is the same thing for you guys in other cities if you are in china if it is please let me know in the comment section so they had to you know fast forward the exam so that everything will just go and people will go back to their various places and then they will lock the gate this is so frustrating for me because last time they did something like that i know how i felt like you just be in the four walls of the school like and the worst is that you don't see anybody. 
especially we being the foreigners that are in china right now we stay indoors you just like when they lock the door you down you can't even go out you just go to the canteen get food and sometimes you find out that it's the same food like three four times in a week is still it's just the same food so you trying to go to market to purchase this thing that you cook for yourself and have the taste of that home food you find it difficult so this lockdown thing is is really frustrating recently when they started you know shaking in they asked us to present our um health code and the movement code so when we did that they find out that there are these few students especially for my own department i'm talking for my department they find out that there is this three students who travel to other cities so when they find out they now has them to send in their documents which they did and they were ordered to stay for quarantine when they arrive to this my city jinghua they have to stay for quarantine 14 days after the 14 days quarantine they will not come inside school but before that the process of that 14 days quarantine they have to do what they call acid test acid test is to shake you know the situation of their system if they have any disease or something like that they have to do that they must do that finally they will take away their scholarship so this is the situation these few students are passing through right now so i want to alarm you i won't make you understand that the situation is not easy so if you are in china please i i advise you stay in your city talking to you now the school gate is locked as you can see this policeman standing there I can't go there if I even if I decide to go there that I have a very tangible reason for going out of this gate I have to go to my department first and sign some documents and then give it to them if not I cannot leave that gate if I do leave the gate they won't allow me to enter and I think it will even get worse when they close school which they are doing everything possible to close and let those students go back to their hometown and then they will lock the school for the second time tell me what you think on the comment section are you okay with this kind of life if it is you what would you do will you feel frustrated thank you so much for always coming back to my channel hope you've subscribed to my channel if you have not what are you still waiting for baby subscribe and join this amazing beautiful calm family okay and see you in my next video bye bye